Hey guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Paley Fest Fall TV Preview, where we're going to be talking to the cast and creators of the hit MTV show, Faking It. Okay, let's talk about the show. Uh, Liam's been pretty busy this year, huh? <laughs> First he gets the girl, then he gets both girls, then he gets deceived by the girls, and then he gets the other girl. Right. Oh, it's a tough gig. It's a tough gig. Someone has to do it. That's crazy. How's been shooting this, this first season? Uh, well, the second season, you mean? Yes. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean the first season. Like, that much happened just with your character. Like, oh. It's well, so much drama. A lot of drama. It's very tough to kind of keep up. And we block, we kind of like block shoot our show, which is like we'll do two episodes at a time. Okay. So sometimes, thank God, we have an amazing script supervisor because sometimes I don't even know what's going on. Um, it's very hard to kind of keep up with who knows what and who slept with who. I know, right? So, uh, but that's the fun part of our when show. When you read the script, were you like, seriously? Like, the Three to Tango uh, episode, were you like, seriously? Um, Carter's very talented, so I didn't put it past him, and I wasn't really surprised. I was pleasantly, it was a pleasant read. I was like, but this is insane. And throughout season two, the sh episodes get better and better and better. And... Um, it just gets deeper, you know, you find out a lot more about each character and, you know, their families and stuff. It just, the first, it's tough. First season always on a TV show. They always, you have to kind of just get the main storylines. But, you know, in season two and three, you kind of get the juice, you know. So that's what fans can, yeah, exactly. That's what the fans can kind of look forward to. With all the issues that the show deals with, like real teenage issues, how has the response been from fans? Well, amazing. I mean, that's why I kind of did the show in the first place was to kind of, uh, well, not be a role model so to speak but to have a show that certain minorities could kind of watch and look up to and we deal with so many interesting um, topics you know we deal with obviously homosexuality and um, uh, one character this season is intersex which has been very interesting and I've personally learned a lot about it um, and it's just a fun, unique high school show that deals with real, real topics. So it's nice to be able to portray those topics, but in a very funny and witty way, you know, so. What is your favorite thing about Liam? My favorite thing about Liam? I like the deepness and the darkness, which sounds terrible because I'm pretty sure you're probably looking at me as if I'm a screwed up person. But I like the darkness of the family story and kind of living in this like weird bubble because in 204 you're going to see who his family really are. And to me it's just a very deep and weird scenario. And I grew up in a very loving household and I can only imagine what it'd be like to deal with a, to deal with difficult, like a difficult background. So. It's nice to highlight that because yeah. some people deal with that. Yeah, so. exactly. So, I think so. Um, so for the second season, is it just a lot of damage control with, with Liam and Amy right away? or It's going to have to be. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they wake up. The season two wakes up and Liam and Amy are in bed. So the morning after. And then it's going to be uh, a terrible situation from there. Well, we look forward to the second season. Congratulations. The show's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Tell me you like this video by hitting like and also subscribe for more interviews. And leave me a comment with your thoughts about faking it. Who do you want to end up together?